Let's solve this question here. A circle with radius 1 is inscribed in the parabola y equals x squared. Find the center of the circle. So we're looking for the coordinate of this point here, the center of the circle. Right away, look at this graph here. We know that the x value of this coordinate here is 0 because it's right here. We have to find the y value. Okay, so how do we do that? Maybe considering finding the intersection point of the circle curve and the parabola may help. And these two points here are the intersection points of these two curves. Let me draw this. So this point here and this point here. So what does it mean? Since the two curves intersect here, right, at this two point, if I draw a tangent line across these two points here, that tangent line should be tangent to both the circle curve and the parabola. Okay, so let me do this. Like this, and like this. So these two are the tangent line, and the tangent lines are tangent to both the parabola and the circle curve. Also, the radius of the circle and the tangent line are perpendicular to each other. Now, what's the point of the tangent lines? We know that if we take the derivative of a function, we can find the slope of the tangent line at a particular point, right? Since this tangent line is tangent to both the circle curve and the parabola, that means if we can find the tangent line with the same slope for both the circle curve and the parabola, then we can find the intersection point. Okay, let's do that. First of all, what is the form of a circle curve? The function for a circle curve would be like this. x minus h all square plus y minus k all square is equal to r square. Right? h and k. What are they? That's the center of the circle. So center of the circle is h and k. Okay, so what's R? R is the radius of a circle. Okay, now, look at this graph here, right? We know that the x value of the center of the circle is 0. That means h is 0. What else do we know? It's given in the question that the radius is 1, right? So R is 1. Okay, now put that into the function, right? We have x minus 0 all square plus y minus k all square is equal to 1 square. Okay, so simplify this. We have x square plus y minus k all square is equal to 1. Okay, so this is the function for this circle curve here. And what's the curve of the parabola? is y equals x squared as given in the question. Okay, now, since we have the parabola in forms of y equals to x squared, right? We should just isolate y here in the circle curve to write it in terms of y. Okay, to do that, we have to subtract x squared from both sides. We have y minus k squared is equal to 1 minus x squared. Take the square root of both sides, we have y minus k is equal to square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, normally this is plus or minus, but we will just take plus for now because for our purpose here, it doesn't matter if we take plus or minus. Okay, now add k to both sides, y equals to square root of 
1 minus x squared plus k. Okay, now this is the circle curve in terms of y. And we have the parabola, right? y equals x squared. Now, take the derivative of y with respect to x for both functions here. And then we will equate them. Then we can find out the x value when they have the same slope of the tangent line. And that's their intersection points. Okay, so let's do this. Now, first of all, for this one, let me just rewrite this. y equals to 1 minus x squared to the power of 1 half plus k. That's the same thing here, right? To find the derivative of y with respect to x, I will have to use the chain rule. So let me do this. I will let w equals to 1 minus x squared, then y is equal to w to the power of 1 half plus k. Okay, now first of all, I have to take the derivative of w with respect to x. And that's equal to negative 2x because this becomes 0, right? So minus, now bring the 2 to the front and minus 1 here, so it's negative 2x. Now, take the derivative of y with respect to w. This will become 1 half w to the power of negative 1 half. Now, notice that k is a constant here. If we take the derivative with respect to w, k will be gone. So don't worry about that. So that's it. But w is equal to 1 minus x squared. So where do we write this as? 1 half times. Now this would just make it like this. 1 over square root of. 1 minus x squared, which is the same as 1 over 2 times square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, now to find dy over dx, right? dy over dx is equal to dy over dw times dw over dx, right? So dw, dw cancel out, or I've left just dy over dx. That's a chain rule. And dy over dw is this. 1 over 2 times square root of 1 minus x squared times dw over dx is negative 2x. And that is equal to negative 2x over 2 times square root of 1 minus x squared. And of course, right, the 2 and 2 cancel out, I have left negative x over square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, so that's the derivative of the circle curve. Now, what's the derivative of the parabola? Okay, so dy over dx, right? Is equal to 2x. That's it. Now, we have to equate these two together, right? Because dy over dx is equal to dy over dx, right? And this is for the circle curve, which is this, okay? So we have negative x over square root of 1 minus x squared is equal to this is for the parabola, which is 2x. 2x. Okay, in this case, the x and x cancel out. We have negative 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared is equal to 2. And to find out x, right, we have to take negative 1 over 2. So that would be equal to this, right? So square root of... 1 minus x squared is equal to negative 1 over 2. Okay. Now, square both sides. Then you have 1 minus x squared is equal to 1 over 4. Right? Because this square is 1 over 4. Okay. Now, 
to isolate x, right, or x squared for now, you have to take 1 minus 1 over 4. So you have x squared is equal to 1 minus 1 over 4. x squared is equal to 3 over 4. And of course, take the square root of both sides, right? And of course, this time, you have to take the plus or minus. And x is equal to plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. Okay, why we have x equal to plus or minus square root of 3 over 2? Because looking at the original question or the graph here, we have two intersection points. Of course, that's two x value, right? So this one here, the x value here will be negative square root of 3 over 2. This one here is square root of 3 over 2, right? And I know that right here, the y value will be the same for these two points. Okay, so now, to find out the y coordinates of the two intersection points, right? The y value. What do we do? We just put the x value into x here, right? Then we will have the y value of the intersection point. Okay, so y equal to x squared. So basically, the y value is equal to x squared. And we have x squared here, right? x squared here is equal to 3 over 4. So I can say that, right? Here. The intersection point. Ah, here, negative square root of 3 over 2, and here, 3 over 4, and square root of 3 over 2, and 3 over 4. Okay, so these two are the intersection points. Okay, now, we found the intersection points, right? of the two curves but how can we utilize that we know that in the circle curve here this is the circle curve what value do we not know we don't know why but that's okay we don't know k but since we find the intersection point of these two curves all we need to do is just equate the original curve, the original function of the two curves together. Basically, what I'm going to do is, this is y here, right? But y is also equal to x squared, right? Because I'm going to utilize the two intersection point here. Then I have to make y equals x squared. Here, right? And then we know what x is. Because we calculated here, the x value is positive or negative square root of 3 over 2, right? That means the only value we don't know is k here. That's what we have to do next to find the value of k by doing this. Okay, now let me do it here. Now, the circle curve is x squared plus y minus k square is equal to 1. And we know that the parabola y is equal to x square. So we have to substitute into here. So we have x square plus, this is x square, minus k all square is equal to 1. Okay, now expand this, right? So we have x square plus x squared minus k times x squared minus k is equal to 1. Now, what does that give us? x squared plus, that would be x to the 4 minus 2kx squared, right? Yes, plus k squared. is equal to 1. Now, Group all the light terms together. So we have x to the 4 
plus x square minus 2kx square plus k square. Now move the 1 to the left side. That will be minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, now take out the coefficient. So we have x to the 4 plus that will be 1 minus 2k times x square plus that's a constant, right? k square minus 1 equal to 0. Okay, now what do we see here? Now we see that this is x to the 4, this is x square. What if I let u equals to x square? Then I can rewrite this, right? That would be u squared plus 1 minus 2k times u plus k squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, notice that k is a constant. The variable is x here. So now we let u equals to the variable x. What does it look like now? It looks like this is a quadratic equation, right? We want to solve for k. What we should do is use the quadratic formula, right? Okay, so how do we solve for u here? u is equal to negative. Now, this is the p value, right? 1 minus 2k plus or minus square root of. Now, b square, which is 1 minus 2k square. 1 minus 2k squared minus 4 times a which is 1 here right times c which is k squared minus 1 all divide by yeah 2 times a right so 2 times 1 okay so what's next now here u is equal to now this we just change the sign so we have 2k minus 1 plus or minus square root of this but let's expand this so from here right we know that this one is just 4k squared minus 4 so let's expand this one here so 1 minus 2k times 1 minus 2k right and that's equal to 1 minus 4k plus 4k squared but here this one is minus right so we will do this right so minus 4k squared now minus minus become plus so plus 4 so this and this cancel out what I have left is just here right 1 minus 4k plus 4 And I don't need this anymore. All divided by here is 2. Okay, so now with this, u is equal to 2k minus 1 plus or minus square root of now 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 minus 4k. All divided by 2 and we know that u is equal to x square here so here x square is equal to 2k minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 minus 4k all divided by 2 okay What's x squared equal to? Right? This is the intersection point, right? So the intersection point of x squared, right? The value for x squared is 3 over 4. We calculated here. So this is equal to 3 over 4. And that's equal to 2k minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 minus 4k or divide by 2. Now let's try to solve for k here. 
Remember, that's the y value of the coordinate of the center of the circle, right? That's what we're looking for right now. So multiply both sides by 2, we have, if this multiplied by 2, we have 3 over 2 is equal to 2k minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 minus 4k. Of course, we can move the 1 to this side, right? So that will be 2 over 2 plus 3 over 2, which is 5 over 2 is equal to 2k plus or minus square root of 5 minus 4k. And of course, it's not easy to solve for this when there's a square root, right? So what we should do is move the 2k to the left side and then square both sides to get rid of the square root. To do that, we have 5 over 2 minus 2k is equal to plus or minus square root of 5 minus 4k. Now square both sides. Now notice that on the right side, if you square this side, right, then plus or minus doesn't matter. It will all become positive, right? Okay, so what's this? Okay, so this times this is 25 over 4. This times this is minus 5k, minus 5k plus 4k square, okay. This is 25 over 4 minus 10k plus 4k square, okay. So this side here is equal to this, right? And now bring down the right side. This square is basically equal to 5 minus 4k. Okay, now move this to the right side, right? It will be another quadratic equation. So 25 over 4 minus 20 over 4 is 5 over 4. Minus, now, when you move the 4k to this side, become plus 4k. So that would be minus 6k, right? Because minus 10k plus 4k is minus 6k. Uh, plus 4k squared. Is equal to zero. Okay, now let's write it this way: four k square minus six k plus five over four is equal to zero. Another quadratic equation. We will use the quadratic formula again. Okay, to solve for k here. Okay, so what do we do? Now k is equal to minus b. So minus minus six plus or minus square root of Uh, b squared, which is negative 6 squared, plus, that will be minus in the quadratic formula. Okay, minus 4 times 4, right, a times c, which is 5 over 4. All divided by 2 times a, which is 4 here. Okay, so here, k is equal to 6 plus or minus, what's this, square root of, now, we know that this and this cancel out, so this is 20, right? 4 times 5 is 20. 36, right? Minus 20 is 16. Divide by 2 times 4 is 8. And of course, that would give me k is equal to 6 plus or minus 4 over a. Okay, what does that tell me? k can be, if we plus, right, we add, that would be 10 over a. 10 over a, reduce it, will give us 5 over 4. Or k is equal to, now if we subtract this, we have 2 over a, which is 1 over 4, right? Okay, now we have two values for k. And we know that these are all positive value, right? And right here, in the original question here, The center of the circle, the y value of the center of the circle is positive. We know that from the graph here. So what should we take? 
Now, think about this. Because the parabola opens upward like this, right? That means the two intersection points here of the circle curve and the parabola has to be below the center of the circle, right? Because we're not having a curve that's like vertical like that, right? If it's vertical, then the two intersection points will be right at the center of the circle. But this is open upward parabola, right? So the two intersection points must be below the center of the circle. And the value of the two intersection point is for the y-value, right? The y-value would have been 3 over 4 right here, right? Because y is equal to x squared, right? From the parabola equation here. So this point here is the y-value, 3 over 4. So let me write this here. Yeah, this one is 3 over 4, right? Then the center of the circle must be above 3 over 4 here. Okay. Look at the k-value that we get here. The center of a circle has to be greater than 3 over 4. Well, 1 over 4 is less than 3 over 4. 5 over 4 is greater than 3 over 4. So this is the answer for the k-value, which is the y-value of the center of the circle. Right here, this one here, this is right here, 5 over 4. Okay, uh, so I can conclude this. Here, the center of the circle here. is 0, 5 over 4. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.